You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another crazy kit. This is the Gummy Bug Kit. And I know a lot of people tell me in the comments it's not pronounced crazy. It's crossy. At least that's what I think they're trying to tell me. Crazy Crossy Tomato Tomato. Let's eat bugs. And I'm seeing some gummy action here. I have to study the packages on these. And then uh, I see different scenes like placemats. So I'm not sure if we get all four. We'll find out. A couple flavors here. A grape and another fruit. What is that fruit? I didn't research it. I like to just kind of go in blindfolded. Look at that. Pretty cool looking beetles. I wonder if they're all different in the set, so you don't know which one you're going to get. And then the instructions. Steps one, two, three, four. So four steps, not too bad. But if you want to read the packaging, there you go. Pause and supersize that video. Any little tidbits that uh, I don't uh, understand, you can leave it in the comments. So help other people out when they do the kit. But let's uh, cut the end off here. And see what we have in supplies. Okay, so there's one of the mats. Let's just compare it to the front. Okay, so this one is this one here. So that's the one we got. Looks like you're in a tree where the beetle hangs out, maybe. And then you have three packets. Let me uh, show you those. Let me zoom out a little bit, get a little further away. Okay. There is a black packet, which is probably the beetle color. And I even tell you where to cut on these. There's the cut line. But in a weird spot there. And then this looks like the activator. So this would be the green, the black, and then the activator for the gummy. You get your little tool there. You get a fork. And then your tray. So let's take a look. Ooh, so I do get a flying insect here. Let me put this underneath it. See if this helps. Okay, that makes it worse. How about that? It's hard on any color to see. See if I get the right angle. How's that? You see this insect here? Insect like a fly. The beetle piece is here with the beetle front. So if we're looking at the packaging, it looks like we got this beetle here okay and we did get some kind of flying insect not sure if it is a wasp or a hornet or if there's another name for it and uh, that's about it so let me uh, get my water and we'll come right back and get started okay here we go I am all set uh, now I noticed their instructions are for the different beetle not for this beetle and this one this tray look, look like it has a grasshopper so I'm guessing now they want black 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 and then green 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 just like the other set here just the beetles in black but it would be cool if I can do the wings in one color but not sure how that would work and how much stuff I have so let me get my black and do that first now I'm not sure if I need another tool because I don't know, I have a hard time with these powders, getting them perfectly in the sections. You know, a little paintbrush or soft brush might help that. To level it and to make it nice and smooth. But they do show in the instructions, using your fork, I'll show that to you. Say your fork to kind of move it around a little bit. So let me see if that helps me. I'm sure you want it as level and as even as possible. But let me do this. Let me get some in every section. Kind of see where I'm at and then do a little cleanup. I don't know exactly how much powder I'm going to have. Okay, and this little piece here.
you almost just kind of want to tap it just a little. Ooh, that helps. See that? A little more in here. And I'm wondering why they just don't have you mix the water solution first so it's ready to go. So you're not shaking your tray. Okay. That's nice. And I will just keep going here. Any wrong move and I have stuff everywhere. See how that works. Alright, so I just need to do a little clean up on the edges here. See that there? Just kind of moving it away from the edge. But if I had a little brush, like a little clean brush, that might work really well. I'll tell you what, let me go get that now. I have some brand new brushes, never used, and they might work really well at cleaning up around the edges. Okay, I am back. I just brought in a soft, clean brush. If you see someone making this kit, and one second they're dumping it in, and the next second it's perfect, it's because they edited out the steps of actually getting it that way, see? There's no way to pour this in here perfectly all the way around. I don't think there is. And do you have to do this? No, you don't. Okay, that's a little better. It moves a lot, so, okay, there you go. I just need a little bit over here. So yes, a lot of people do edit out all the work involved with these kits. There's a lot. So it might take, you might see a two minute video. It's gonna take you longer than two minutes if you want a certain level of completedness, you know what I mean? I don't have to go through all this. I do it just so that you can see what it really takes. There we go. Trying to get to the end of the tip so that it's nice and full on the ends. Okay. All right. A little clean up here. Okay, next color is the green. Now it looks like, let me feel, there's not much of this left. So I don't think there's enough to even, just a tiny bit in the corner. They just give you enough. I'll do this again. I'll try to get all the chambers and sections filled and then I'll clean it up a little. I'll give it a quick tap. So how perfect do you want it? As you can see, I'm going extreme. And I think I'm happy with that now. I could do a little bit more cleanup on the edges. 
and it just seems like in this little tip it doesn't want to completely fill but that's okay all right now there's a water line on this okay that's why I'm surprised they didn't have you do and fill the water first so that you're not shaking up your tray I'm just gonna use this so I don't have to risk pouring it in let's just see how many it takes two three four five takes you to the line now the next one cut and mix all right next step this is like your gummy activator is what I would call it to turn the powder into gummy and I don't take my time here I don't want to rock the boat so to speak I'll tell you what I'm gonna mix with one side hold the tray while I do it and just keep mixing I might do a little cleanup on my powdered side Oh, did anybody notice my giant fly? I forgot to mention, yeah. He decided to fly in and watch me. Okay, that looks like a nice... Starting to get a little more translucent in color. The granules are starting to melt into the water or dissolve. How's that look? Look good? Yes, that looks good. All right. I did want to do, I noticed I didn't like the level on this one. And here we go. Now it just looks like you start dropping on to each one. I'll give you a little different angle on the next one here. Let me do a quick adjustment here with my camera and I'll show you a little bit closer. Okay, here we go. I am going to now fill the front horn of the beetle. It would be neat though to see an underside view. Now that would be cool. I wonder if I can do that. You know what, I think I'm going to try it on the next one. I need to see underneath. Let me see if I can show you underneath as it's flowing through. All right, I am right over the lens now. So I am going to give it a shot. Not sure if you're going to see it any differently from this perspective, but now I'm putting the drops in. Well didn't change did it it's changing on my end so maybe brighter light next time I have a couple more of these kits so I'm gonna get this so that you can see it better all right let's go back and uh, check them out all right I am back I emptied this section out so you can see underneath now it's a good way to look to see if you put enough water or not now in a couple spots I could tell already I didn't it's a little dry like here in a couple little spots but uh, We'll see, maybe I can dab a little water on the top. So let's uh, let's get one of the pieces out. Now they show you using the fork, but I'm gonna take a toothpick to kinda get it off the edge here a little bit. And then it should pull itself out. Let's see now. It wants to come out. There we go. 
you know what? I got the bowl of water here. Let me just dip my powder part in there. There. That'll work its way on that. Let me put it in the back here. There's one. That works okay with just the fork. There's two. A little extra powder there on that one. But that corrects it. Nice. Let's put them on the back. I have the tray back here, which I'll show you at the end. Now let's get this big one out here. Let's see if I can just pull the whole thing. Not sure what the best place to start. I'll try each wing. That worked good, kind of sticking it in there. This wing, this wing's giving me a hard time. Let's see if we can wedge underneath. There we go. Okay, see a little dry. We'll dip it in the water. Put it on our tray in the back. The solution that is. Alright, so now putting the beetle together. Now maybe I don't want them all on the mat. So let me move them aside here. We'll do a final presentation once I get them all out. This one should be the easiest, hopefully, to get out. There you go, that worked out good. I'll try to place it where it needs to go. And then the next section. Just dab that in the water. Hold on. Let me stick it in there a little bit better. There, see, that'll take care of that. We'll put that on there. Well, let's see, if I got it in the right way, not even paying attention to that beetle. So it looks like that is not the right section. Well, I don't know. Let me get out the last section. And see, this might be the back. So I'll do that all in a second. Let me try the fork on this big one. Wow, it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna work with me. Well, that does. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that looks like the back, doesn't it? Dip it in the water. Okay. I'll let this set just a little bit, and I'm going to come back and put it all together for you. Okay, so I, uh, I'm i all set, and everything dried real nice. They're still a little moist. I can place the green ones. I'm looking at my black. I'm just going to put them in the corner here to kind of hold everything down, and I'll give you a close-up. And this one I'll put up here, kind of flying away. And then I'm looking at this, and then looking at the picture, and see how nice and detailed that is? So it looks like, if you want, you can cut out the gummy around the legs of the insect. So, that's up to you. I brought in an X-Acto knife, and uh, actually, I just got it, so it gives me a chance to use it. It's got a little light on it, and then I can come in here and cut away the extra gummy, and what that does is it gives you a cleaner look around the legs and stuff. Now, if you're just gonna make this to eat this and enjoy it with kids, I wouldn't go to this length because it's just too involved. I'm doing it to kind of show you, well, if you wanna go to the next level and spend more time, you can. See, look at that. See how nice that looks now? Cut up and cleaned up. And there's only like two more spots where you can do that. 
you can do these front legs well let me eat that you know why stick it off to the side let me give it a taste hmm what's the flavor that one's the one that tastes like the grape which makes sense the green is its own flavor. I'm going to eat it. Don't worry. I will definitely eat. Okay, see how nice that looks now cleaned up? Eat it. I'm getting sticky. And if you're not allowed to use exacto knives, then don't use one. Hear my arms sticking to the side of my table. Okay, because I want to transfer this now to my scene. Would I go to this length with my kids? Probably not. They just want to eat it. There you go. Now it's all cleaned up and ready. So let me get my little fork. All right, I'm missing my little fork. Hmm. And let me put this together now over here before I eat him. Stick him. Oh yeah. Sticky. Okay, and the last section Look at that. Scrumptious bug protein. Okay, there. And don't mind my flies, again. I'll stick them in here. They add a little, you know, natural ambiance here. They're just plastic. They don't come with the kit, like I said. All right, so there you go. What am I gonna eat? I would say overall, it came out pretty good. What do you think? Would you go to those lengths to do a kit like this? And you see how long it took me. Now, I'm not rushing. I'm trying to take my time and follow all the steps. And I'm not cutting out any of the video, really. So I'm doing it all right in front of you. So you see what I did there? Let me eat one of these green ones. Mmm. See? Apple... Hmm. Pear, peach, apple, something like that. They're tasty. They have a little grainy bite to them, but good. I hate to eat my big beetle, but I'm going to probably eat, I'm going to eat the whole back end. Right? Video's over. And thanks for watching. Hmm. I think they're okay. And again, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more of these types of kits, you know, look in the description for a playlist or search our channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Later. Making a quick edit here because my fly on the wall said, Dave, you picked the wrong beetle. And uh, yeah, I kept pointing at this beetle, but I actually was making this beetle. Thanks, fly. And thanks everybody for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching! And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up!